Hello there fellow model makers and welcome to the second part of my A model 172nd scale Indian Air Force AN32 build. So last time we put most of the interior together and it's time now to start with painting the inside of the fuselage and closing it up. Thankfully, we already cleaned up the fuselage pieces so we can now start gluing in the parts that go inside. I mask the area where the floor is to be glued and paint the inside with flat black. Next, the same light grey that was used for the cockpit. Once again, I paint inside the panels first and then blend everything together with light layers so that I can get a natural shading effect without too much effort. As with the cockpit, I now add some chipping to the walls with a sponge. I am using Citadel Dry Necron compound for this, but you can use any aluminium paint you have handy. A few parts need to be hand painted with black. There are some more parts that go inside the fuselage halves, like the roof, seats and the loading ramp. Thank you. 
The work was sealed in with the gloss varnish. Now to glue in the parts and hope that the two fuselage halves come together. Once again, the challenge was finding the right place to glue the parts in. For most parts, there were no witness marks or pins or holes to guide me where they went. Anyway, I glued the floor and the cockpit in and hoped for the best. Before gluing in more parts, I decided to dry fit the fuselage halves together. As expected, the two halves do not line up, especially towards the front. So now, I sanded down the bulkheads and other parts to bring the parts together. This carried on for about an hour. Finally, with the two parts coming together, it was time to glue in the roof and the remaining parts. The last parts to go in were the windows. From the start, I was not happy with these. The plastic is distorted and even the fit left much to be desired. I would eventually replace them, but for now, I decided to glue them in. Now, a second attempt to glue the fuselage halves in place. I fought with this kit for quite some time. And while I was able to bring much of the two fuselage halves together, there remained a huge gap in the forward ceiling area. So the fuselage was opened up and more sanding was done inside to try and close up the gap. About an hour later, success. Well, partial success, but I'll take it. <laughs> Finally, I could glue the fuselage together with reasonable results. I made a temporary rig with cocktail sticks and rubber bands to line up the seams the best I could. But as you can see, huge gaps remained and I realized there was no getting around them. I would have to deal with them later. And it's later now. The cement has cured overnight and it's time now to start applying some putty. I'm using perfect plastic putty. Step 1. Fill all the gaps and let the putty dry.
Step 2. Start sanding. I start with a 600 grit sanding sponge. I started with this sponge as I wanted to see how the plastic would react to aggressive sanding. I thought that the plastic reacted rather well and so for the remaining seams I started the sanding with a 180 grit sanding sponge, eventually working my way up to a 1000 or a 1200 grit. Finally, some buffing and polishing with a polishing stick. After several hours of sanding and polishing, I was finally done. So I tested how clean the seams were by airbrushing some black paint on them. Honestly speaking, the results were pretty good, but they did need some improvement. So, I took Mr. Surface of 500 and redid the seams. I have realized that Mr. Surfacer takes a long time to cure and dry properly, so best leave it alone for a day or so. While the Mr. Surfacer dried, I used this time to put together the propeller assembly. As expected, these two will require some putting and sanding to clean them up. I also clean up the landing gear and put together the wheels. The engines are also glued together. Right, the Mr. Surfacer has dried, so let's start with the cleanup. The joint is much better now, but all the sanding has removed the surface detail. So time to rescribe them on. I use a photo edge saw.
The panel lines are cleaned up by running some extra thin cement through them. Now to try and glue in place the last part of this stage, the control panel. And no surprises, it does not fit. So out comes the sanding file and I try and shape the piece so that it fits. One more thing, before you glue the control panel in place, it would be a good idea to add weight to the nose. In my case, I fill the nose with liquid gravity which are tiny little metal balls and fix them in place with some super glue. Unfortunately, I did not record that part. I test fit the canopy to ensure that the control panel or any other piece is not obstructing it. And it appears all is well. Right fellow model makers, we have finally glued the fuselage together and I guess that's all for this part of the build. Next time, I will try to fix the wings and the tail section. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like and subscribe. Till next time, good luck and happy modeling.